in our two constituencies. I mean, the, the Tea Party movement, which I happen to think is the best thing that's happened in American politics since the Goldwater insurgency. Uh, the Tea <laughs> Party. Well the, the tea. Yeah, okay, it gave us Reagan. It gave us Reagan. five of the next six presidential <laughs> elections. Uh, the problem is the Tea Party movement, which. Uh, it, doesn't understand the fundamental paradox, which is that if Washington were as easy to turn around as they seem to think it is, we wouldn't need the Tea Party movement, which we do. The president did not get elected to cut entitlement programs, to cut anything for that matter. He has proposed, you know what he's been specific about? Two billion dollars of spending cuts in 2012. That's a rounding error on the GM bailout. George, what I don't understand here, the big mystery to me, is why the Republicans didn't, to use the president's phrase, call his bluff. The president was talking about cuts to Social Security and Medicare. Why? I mean, and the Republicans pulled out on taxes. The initial reaction to the leaks on those stories were, were Democrats on Capitol Hill screaming bloody murder, saying that they were not going to let the president and John Boehner touch Medicare. And before that fight could play out, Republicans walked away on taxes. Well, yeah, but, 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 but what, I think, what I think is going on here is how broken the process here right. in Washington is, how badly poisoned it is, and how neither side really trusts each other. And even if they were going to call each other, they don't, they, the lack of trust is so big that they can't even like reach agreement on some small thing. Each side, in 2010, the Republicans getting elected in Congress, and of Barack Obama in 2008, basically the message was, fix Washington. That's